Greetings, everybody, on this really, really beautiful day. Another beautiful day here. Amazing. Feels like summer out here. And we haven't even reached the equinox yet. How amazing. Greetings, love beings, from a galactic central. This is Mother God and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. We are honored to be at your service in love everywhere present. The true reality here on planet Earth Equal Heart. Our current light quotient remains stable at 300% at this time and will continue to rise in the next couple of days or so. And we'll keep you filled in. Uh, the new Earth energies are currently pouring forth for the new paradigm to physically begin here on this planet. And I'm sure many of you can feel these energies. They are quite intense. These energies are seeping through into everything on this earth. There is no escape for these intense amounts of love energy. We are in preparation for the grandest events in planet Earth's history, guaranteed. And love wins. Yay! Love does win. Love wins. <laughs> All right. Love wins, illusion toast. Right after the events of December, tw uh, December 2012, we wrote about the Galactic Alignment Accomplishment. We would like to reheart you and read this message and its important importance to the moments we are in now as we prepare for the physical manifestation of the New Earth Equal Heart. The Galactic Alignment Accomplishment, written December, 12, December 2012. Spirit Consciousness has awakened on planet Earth, equal heart, and therefore, love is everywhere, within and everywhere. This includes humanity. This has occurred with awareness or without. Either way, it's a done deal. This was an inevitable event, which was originally called forth from Mother Earth, equal heart, and her ascension home into the light. All of humanity is here for this joy ride, but they will have to be full participants. Love serves those who serve love. The level of your consciousness is what you will be experiencing. For those who have done the work, you are experiencing the joy of true ascension, and this grand new experience will continue for you. If you are hanging on onto any aspects of the old paradigm and let us reheart you. You can't take anything from 3D into 5D. You might as well let it go on, let it all go now. <clears throat> anyway, um, if you are hanging on to any aspects of the old paradigm, love is pushing these all up to the surface. Embrace, accept, and if you hold on, watch out because it's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher as these energies increase. Aware or unaware? Through the galactic alignment, unconditional creation has awakened into the highest possible thought of energy that could ever occur here. And this is just the beginning. This is the new energy which has been birthed on this planet. And Mother Earth Equal Heart had moved into 5D frequencies. That means everyone else has to move in with her. This will now be unfolding for all eternity and every moment, with every moment of now, forever and forever. This is creation, always more, equal the all given to creation, to create more in grander ways. Atoms of real energy are now moving towards more of the love which created them. This is how love and creation move with the atoms of love. All atoms of love are returning home. This energy now has begun the merging of humanity with spirit. Heaven and earth become one. This is what they have also called the wedding of humanity to God. These moments we are in is this event. This is an unstoppable moment within creation. 
Mother Earth with humanity has birthed a new paradigm, and through this, the world of illusion will be dissolving quickly. It is now becoming increasingly impossible for these energies to exist together. Something's got to give and will. Resistance is futile. Love has already won. As all ignorance and illusion dissolves, all which will remain is the love called God everywhere present, which is true reality. The light, true reality, is now returning to planet Earth equal heart, the true heaven on Earth, where we live in equality, true equality, harmony, abundance, and joy, fifth dimensional living and being in peace, happiness, abundance, true abundance. A new reality is here. The manifestation and the transformative transformative energies of love, like never before experience, experienced, have entered. This is why humanity is here, for this grand experience. There is nothing else. It does not matter what is happening in illusion. Who really cares except those clinging to a sinking ship? You see, the atoms are vibrating humanity into freedom. And it's a conspiracy. All atoms are now moving into the highest possible thought to manifest, which has been decreed by love. We are here in the manifest, as granted, and now it's humanity's turn to manifest into love and live this truth with us. All eyes are on planet Earth equal heart to watch creation occur in a way that has never occurred before. A love story where everyone awakens, where the circuit has been completed and an even grander creation begins. This requires everyone's participation and why everyone is awakening. Truth, love and creation are just like a symphony. And this unfoldment on planet Earth is so unique and is the grandest event that has ever occurred in all of creation, as we have shared. The event of humanity, <laughs> of God, who traveled the depths of illusion and then to rise up, simply amazing. To play their part with the symphony of creation. Each atom carries a note, and each instrument must play. Each of humanity is a unique God spark, and have a note in creation to play. Just as each atom that makes everything up, all parts make the whole and complete the circuit. This moment has arrived. Love cannot be forced. It can only be embraced unconditionally. There is a moment in a symphony where the whole orchestra gets to play, and that is us, and that is now. All divine contracted roles have been activated. For the new earth equal heart, let us play in the river of the oneness energies arriving. Beyond December 2012, a new creation unfolds. As we end today's transmission, we would like to reheart you of a message from the Hopi Prophecy about the current moments we are in. It's time. A Hopi Elder speaks. You have been telling the people that this is the eleventh hour. Now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak the truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside yourself to a leader. Then he clasped his hands together and smiled 
and said, this could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are torn apart and will suffer greatly. No, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore. Push off into the middle of the river. Keep your eyes open and our heads above the water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time for the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your, your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we must do now must be done in sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. This is attributed to an unnamed Hopi elder from the Hopi Nation. As we end this, we would like to reheart you that we have awakening sessions to assist everybody on your path home into the light. Utilize us. We have some really wonderful, simple techniques and tools to, to help support you. We are here for you. We love you so. We are so in love with humanity. It's our honor to be of service, to share the good news about what's unfolding, um, and to walk together home into the light. It's our honor. We love you. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are your servants in real love. Love, Mother God, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. And remember, let go be in clear thought, and follow the synchronistic events. Mm -hmm.